What's up guys? So I've been out of skateboarding for about two weeks. You guys have been watching videos of me from about a month ago that I've just been editing recently, but I was sick. I can't really say what I had for certain reasons, but let's just say it's the one where everybody's scared and they wear cotton over their face and it was bad. So I had that, um, I haven't had a fever for over a week. I've been spending a lot of time alone, obviously. And uh, yeah, so I haven't been out much. So I'm excited to get back out on the board, but I wanna play it safe. I don't wanna just go like full force right away. So I wanna talk about a way to cheat at skateboarding. The main problem with skateboarding is that you get hurt doing it. So if you can find a way to learn how to do it without getting hurt, that's kind of like cheating, but it's also like being smart. So here's a way to do that. If you want to learn how to kickflip, find a picnic table. Not like those tiny ones that people jump over in California, but a regular size picnic table. Sit on the side. The reason I'm using a picnic table is because there's like room behind it and in front of it. If you wanted to learn certain tricks. This picnic table is still not quite tall enough for me. I really need to stack something under it so my legs have a little bit more room to extend. Uh, but yeah, I got my hands placed on the edge and I'm in a comfortable position. And say I wanted to do a kick flip, then a nollie flip, heel flip. All right, let's try that nollie heel. All right. <laughs> in a way it's easier because it's stationary, but it's also kind of harder because it's stationary. I'm kind of trying to get a roll going so I can do this nollie heel. There we go. Let's do a nollie varial flip. Now I got the freestyle board. At least I don't have a sprained ankle anymore. I'm happy about that. So with this board, we got obviously a whole sploosh, sploosh, spew of tricks to do. So first off, this is the easiest one. Anybody should be able to do this while sitting down. Now, this is the only way you'll see this happen is if I am sitting down. All right. Pressure inward heels are good on the freestyle board because you got this flat side. I like this flat side. It's a quick pop. Catch it really easy. Let's see. Nollie flip so much easier on here. I mean, it doesn't look good. I would have a hard time making it look good sitting down. I'm sure somebody can do it. I can't make my kickflips look good either. Got the little primo stall this way. Ah. Ooh, I don't even know what that was. I guess that was an inward heel, but it was a weird one. I really don't know if I can do a tray flip sitting down. I can definitely do one standing up. Ooh, man. I'm about to just go skating for real. Pretty much done with this. You know what? I didn't do shoves before, so there's a nolly shove. A regular shove. Oh, goodness. Can I do a French shove on here? French shove. Nolly French shove to primo stall. Flip out. Let's try that nolly French shove again. It just goes to primo stall every time. All right, let's try to figure this out. There we go. I wonder if I could do a nollie three shove. Ah, it's hard. Could do a nollie varial flip. Regular varial flip. Oh, oh, almost got a three shove. Let's see how long it takes me to do tricks in the grass. It's probably a little bit harder, for sure. Kick flip. Whoa. It's like I landed on it, but I just fell off immediately. 
Okay. Because I can't roll and my body wants to roll. All right, I shove it. Heel flip. Okay. Might happen. Oh, gosh. Okay. Another way to cheat at skating is to do tricks in the grass. This ground is kind of soft and moist and not like stiff. It'd be better if it was like really stiff dirt. You could really pop off of it better. But I'm kind of sinking in this. Let's try to nollie flip in the grass. Okay. Uh oh, nollie flip nose manual. I should have shoved out. Nollie shove, regular front shove. The front shoves throw you back, shoves throw you forward in the grass. Regular shove. Nollie front shove. Oh, oh, oh. After not getting any exercise at all for two weeks, a little bit of exercise is absolutely exhausting. Let's try to do a varial heel. So I'm gonna find a kind of a weird foot position here. That was so hard. Let's try this again. It's really quick. There we go. Whew. So I kind of knocked that rock out of the way. Oh man, after two weeks, my first trick coming back is freestyle stuff. We're out here in the streets now doing freestyle. Woo! This looks like something from Invader Zim. I guess she was here. We've got a missile, an igloo, Aquaman with a rainbow. We've got, looks like a hamburger or like some type of unicorn maybe, or some type of machine flicking off the person. Or what is this? I got a teal person with a knife and a plate. What are these kids holding? What is that? Is that an owl? There's Grady. What are they holding? This one's got rocks. I don't know. I guess they have a shield and a sword. But this one's got a rainbow sword with a heart at the bottom. There's the camera I was using. But wait. I'm using a camera now. Could I have two cameras? Did you guys ever play this game when you were in elementary school? You just like shoot the basket. If this thing's really leaning, shoot the basket in there and then it comes out one of those holes, but you never know which one it's coming out. I really feel like putting on some jeans and skating or like full pads. Either way, like jeans offer about the same like knee support as full pads when you're street skating. So yeah, I ended up totally getting over the sickness and I've felt better and I've been skating better than I was skating before. So I felt a new sense of life and freedom and being able to get outside and skate and have a good time. Uh, it just really heightened my senses and made me more aware and more thankful for the skating that I was doing. So I really hope this video was helpful. If you enjoy this kind of content, hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot more videos coming in the future, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.